another century or so. I'm talking of the common life, which is the real life, not of the little separate lives which we live as individuals. And have each of us rooms of our own. If we have the habit of freedom and the courage to write exactly what we think, if we escape a little from the common sitting room and see human beings not always in their relation to each other, but in relation to reality, if we face that there is no arm to cling to, but that we go along and that our relation is to the world of reality and not only to the world of men and women, then the opportunity will come. And the dead poet, who is Shakespeare's sister, will put on the body which she has so often laid down. Drawing her life from the lives of the unknown who were her forerunners, she will be born. As for her coming without that preparation, without that effort on our part, without that determination that when she is born again, she shall find it possible to live and to write her poetry, that we cannot expect, for that would be impossible. But I maintain that she would come if we worked for her. And that so to work, even in poverty and obscurity, is worthwhile.